Good morning, it's Joe and Lisa with Jolie Farms here in Ecuador. Welcome back to the channel. So we had uh, a fun little outing again yesterday. We went to the zoo. The zoo. We've tried to go a lot of times, but every time we thought it was closed, but evidently the hours are open, so you just have to holler at the guy inside to come take your money, and he'll let you in. Yeah, so it's, I, you really, we shouldn't call it a zoo because it's a park. It's a huge park, and it does include a small zoo inside of it. Now, it's not like the San Diego Zoo by any means, but I think, um, you know, we've lived in a lot of small towns, and this is tremendous for such a small town as this. So um, we were really very impressed with the whole thing. Really impressed. I mean, Ecuador in general <laughs> creates a lot of uh, family-oriented spaces, and uh, this is uh, just another wonderful place to spend a day with your family. So they are open. They have hours posted, and we'll uh, post a picture of the hours right here so you can see what the hours are. The price is really cheap. If you're over 65, hmm. it's uh, cheap. It's 50 cents. And if you're not over 65, it's uh, a dollar. So, yeah, you uh, have to break the bank and pay a dollar to get in. But that price is everything in the park for as long as you're there. Yeah, you can use the swimming pool. You know, they got a really nice water slide and volleyball courts and... Um, the volleyball stadium was really pretty cool. They have two separate really courts nice. and a great covered seating area for spectators. Seating area, plus it had like a little area where you could serve refreshments. I mean, really nice space. Yeah, several several places in there that were labeled bar, so I guess you could uh, set up a bar there. But um, So yeah, the, the children's playground equipment, well, I thought was phenomenal. Yeah, the the whole area was so much bigger than I expected it to be. I just kept on going, and the the children's playscapes just everywhere, along with little picnic areas with cookout spaces to where you could go and just spend a whole day with your family and, and enjoy the space. Yeah, each space has a little barbecue pit set mm -hmm. up there, so you can uh, sit there and barbecue and have a nice picnic. And I thought what was pretty cool, too, is that once you're inside, the, the, the gates lock so the kids can't get out onto the street. And they also can't get into the pool area unless you authorize it because it's got a little gate there, too. So, um, you know, they're stuck to the playground equipment and they're safe in there unless you wanted them to uh, to go to the poolside. And obviously they have to be accompanied by an adult. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the zoo, um, you know, the zoo was a surprise. We'd, we'd heard some some bad things about it that the animals weren't cared for. And I, I didn't feel that way. Did you? No, I thought it was uh, really well maintained. Um, the the monkeys they were hilarious. Yeah, the monkeys. You know, they're they're typically curious animals. Try to grab Lisa's purse one time. So yeah, um, that's pretty interesting. I you know I I'm not much for caged wild animals, you guys. but you know I've been told that possibly some of these animals were rescued, and so you know that's maybe a good thing. They did have a um, a big puma. Um, you know, he didn't look very happy, but he was kind of chilling and relaxing. Uh, they had an ocelot, which was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. ocelot. Yeah. He walked around. He was very active, he walked very around active. a lot. Yeah. And some of the, the larger monkeys were active as well. Um, they did have some nice tortoises, great big tortoises. I was surprised to see the tortoises, but they were, they were bigger than I thought. I, I would say they're not little and they're not giant. But they're medium-sized yeah. tortoises. Yeah, they're probably pretty old. They're probably at least 40, 50 years old. They were moving around. Yeah, having a good time eating. So I think, um, you know, they had a lot of birds, a lot of different birds. You know, big blue parrots, little green parrots, orange wing parrots. Um, they had some macaws and, um, you know, a, a fair selection of birds. Now, I mean, again, this is not the San Diego Zoo it's just a little small town zoo. And, you know, so, uh, yeah, they had some pigs. Well, it's, um, when we moved here, I expected a little bit more wildlife than what we have. And we just don't see much. So it's kind of nice seeing um, animals that are native to the, uh, more to the Amazon probably than to us. But yeah. out in the more wild spaces, I guess we're just not far enough out to get that much wild. But, uh it's it was interesting to see these animals up close. 
Yeah, a, a couple hours from here, you know, like in the town of Zumba, which is further south from us, um, there's a lot of monkeys, a lot of birds, you know, um, a lot more wildlife than there is right here where we're at. We're just kind of excited that we have some quail roaming the property right now. And that's, you know, that's pretty good. And um, we don't see much else. I saw my first deer over in San Pedro a couple months ago, walking around with my friend Bob. And uh, we, we saw a deer over there, which is really, I think they call him a pongo. But um, so that's the first, you know, larger wildlife I've seen here. There are black bears right up here in the Podocarpus Park. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of bear encounters up there. Not usually um, aggressive, but they are there for sure. Yeah. And we've seen some videos on the bears. Yeah. No, we, there's a lot of birds. We have, even on our property, there's a lot of birds. But nothing like what you would see in the Amazon. No. And in the zoo, uh, they did have an orchid area where they have all these orchids. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, the gates were locked to that. Um, I guess they probably opened it on the weekends. Um, you know, the orchid area would be nice to take a tour through. And I'm sure they have to man that and be careful so that people don't take the plants. But, um, you know, I, I, we were told that before the, the pandemic, that the zoo was a lot better and that, you know, through the two years of the pandemic, it just, you know, they didn't have as much anymore. And so I don't know, but it, it to me, it looked pretty good. I think it was um, extremely well maintained. I mean, it was just, it was a pleasant space to be in. Um, they're constantly cleaning up leaves and uh, stuff that falls on the ground in the pathways. Um, I don't know that you could ask for too much more. Yeah, uh, well maintained, uh, you know, not a lot I would add to it myself personally. Um, I, I think it was great. We saw some neat exotic birds and, you know, some of the uh, local wildlife. So, yeah, I mean, it's well worth 50 cents. <laughs> and uh, it's, I think it's a, a great deal. If you want to swim, um, there was one lady who came and was swimming. And so, you know, she's doing laps in the fairly big pool. It's a big lap pool. Yeah. And so nobody else was there. And so she's in there having a ball, swimming back and forth, getting her exercise. So, you know, for 50 cents, that's a great place to go uh, bang it out first thing in the morning. And or even if you have to pay a dollar. Even if you had to pay a dollar. I mean, to pay for us total a dollar fifty to get in, and we could spend the day there, have a picnic, and just enjoy enjoy the weather and enjoy life and, and the scenery around us. Yeah, and, you know, <clears throat> they have to employ those people there, and, and they're making at least somewhere between two fifty and three fifty an hour gosh, spend the buck, go do it, help support it. And uh, the more we support it, the better it'll be. And, you know, we really believe in supporting the, our local uh, vendors, local tiendas, et cetera. And so we should be supporting our park and zoo the same way. Definitely. All right. Well, we hope you enjoy the pictures of it. We hope when you get to Vilcabamba that you'll go tour the zoo. It's taken us almost five years to get <laughs> to our own zoo, but we made it. Well, and when you see it and the gates closed, just go up and holler at them. And um, I guess that's uh, more more our fault than theirs and that we just didn't realize we just needed to go and get their attention. Sure. And during the week, you know, they don't have anybody right there at the window taking your money. So they're utilizing the men who work inside. I'm sure on the weekends they have someone posted right there at the window to take your money and let you in. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it, it's a great deal. We hope you enjoy the pictures and the little videos of it. And uh, if you enjoyed our video here today, we hope you'll give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. See you next time. Ciao.